In this tutorial video, I will be showing you how to complete step 6, which is to sell products with markups. A markup is a percentage increase in the selling price of a product. If you do not configure markups, then the retail price of the product will be displayed. We recommend you configure markups because retail prices are usually very high. Click on step 6. You can configure markups per supplier, different suppliers provide different prices. So you can manage the markups by yourself. Click on a supplier you want to add a markup to. Then fill in the tiers. Here is an example, as you see, I have selected the tiered percentage markup. There are 9 different tiers. This allows members to apply high markups on lower priced items. And low markups on higher priced items. For example, in tier 1, any product within the price range of 0 to $20, will have a 110% markup. In tier 2, any products within the price range of $20 and 1 cent, to $30, will have a markup of 85%. The next tier range must always start with 1 cent above the previous tier. For example, tier 1's range ended with $20, so, tier 2's range must start with, $20 and 1 cent, and so on. As the price range increases, the markup percentage decreases. This is reasonable, because having a high markup on a high priced item is too much. Once you have configured all this by yourself, if you want this to apply to all suppliers, click on copy to all suppliers, then click on save. If you want to add an amount markup, instead of a percentage markup. You can do that as well. The same things apply. As you see here, instead of entering a percentage, you will have to enter an amount in dollars. Here is an example. I have filled the first three tiers. You can fill all these tiers by yourself. In tier 1, any product within the price range of $0 to $30, will have a $25 markup. In tier 2, any product within the price range of $30 and 1 cent, to $45 will have a markup of $20, and so on. These are just examples. You can configure all this by yourself. If you do not know how to set prices yourself, we can set prices for you for just a small fee of $5. Click on order $5 price review. Enter the profit range you wish to have. Then we will set prices of every item on your list, using the price overwrite box. We will enter a new price that will yield a profit from your desired range. This process takes one business day. When we calculate the price using this service, we take into account the fees, wholesale 2B fees, and the Amazon fees in this case, since I'm using Amazon. You are also able to access this feature in the dashboard page of the Amazon plan. There are other optional upgrades that will help you improve your selling experience. Click on We Set Prices for you, to access the price review upgrade. You can also set markups for shipping prices, but we do not recommend doing this. For example, I have selected the amount markup. As you see here, the after markup is not assessed because I have not applied a markup yet. Let's use the first row as an example. Before the markup, the price is $123.23. Let's say I want to add a $15 markup. As you see in the before and after markup columns, the markup has been applied accordingly. As you see in the first row. The after markup is now $138.23. You can do the same for the percentage markup option. Let's say I want to add a 10% markup. As you see in the first row, the after markup price is now $135.55. If you want this to apply to all suppliers, click on copy all settings to supplier, then click on save. That's all you need to know for step 5. I will cover the rest of the steps in separate videos. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and like this video for future tutorial videos.